You are now listening to Face Off Martin Productions. We say the nerds are already in control. Welcome to the Frack and Nerds, episode number 279. I'm your host, Doc Martin, and joining me, we'll start off uh, the closest to me, and that's our own Chris Class. Welcome, Chris. Hey, hey. And how are you? Hey, you me. What you... I'm good. I apologize about the glare. What with shirt you got wearing I'd there go. today? Uh, uh, Macho Man Randy Oh, Savage. Macho Man. Ooh, look at that. Dig it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then I on apologize the, about the glare on the glasses, but right. my contacts were fucking with me right before I got here. So. Well, that that yeah, that'll have to be what it is. And then the uh, the man from the East Coast, yeah, he did say he was going to. He got a lot of headroom going on there. What is going on in your? Oh, this is what we all miss when we don't see your background there. Yeah, get I figured you, you guys would like to get your see birthday what was unicorn you. there. Yep. What's what's there to your right there? What what else are we looking at? That's a calendar. That's a calendar of what? Who's on there? Uh, some wrestlers. Oh, okay. You don't know their name? You're just wrestling guys that are. I mean, nobody who fucking listens to this wrestling, uh, this show knows wrestling. So. Yeah. Okay. Who are they though? Maybe, maybe. Well, it's, class. Uh, the he... Rascals. Uh, Trey Miguel, mm. Zachary Wentz, and Desmond Xavier. All. Uh, I think we interviewed Desmond Xavier on. Um, the background hecklers, Chris? I think all those dudes were interviewed by Big Brian V. They were? Okay, those, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, Miguel was, too. Trey Miguel, I know he was. Yeah. I don't know. I think but, I think yeah. Desmond Xavier, too. I don't know about Zachary Woods. Hey. Fucking Brian's like, yeah, we did interview all three of them, you motherfuckers. <laughs> He's yelling right now. Let's <laughs> yell on the radio. <laughs> Well, guys, uh, today on the show, uh, The Matrix will probably be without Morpheus. HBO Max, not probably. Well, yeah, he's not going to be there. HBO Max in the DC Universe and all the characters that could be coming to the Marvel's Avenger game, um, which I think I'm the only one that's played the demo since Joshua was nice enough to allow me access to it. So mm. we'll we'll have that's a what quick, a friend does. Quick talk in regards to that, uh, but I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but you can buy one of those little kid friendly radio flyers, versions of a Tesla Model S. It only costs you about 500 bucks, or the new one that's coming out with no motor inside of it, which is only $100. It's going to be called My First Moto, Mo, Model Y. And, uh, yeah. What's the scale to this? It's, it's for little kids. It's probably like, about like the size of a radio like a flyer. Wheel, no, no, like a, like a radio flyer, like the little cart thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. What yeah, do they yeah, call that in New York there, Joshua? Yeah. A wagon? Wagons? A wagon, yeah, that's yeah, it. The a wagon. wagon. Yeah. We never know what oh, okay, Joshua okay. calls things in New York. They're... So the motorized one would be like a power wheel. Yes. Did you guys power ever have wheel. the power wheels when you were younger? Nah, I had a big wheel, man. We were poor. Big No, big wheels were still <laughs> awesome. I don't think they had, like... Big wheels were the shit, man. I wore were. my tires with holes in those things, man. It was... Or maybe... I don't know, we were poor. Maybe I got my... Was that the, uh... <laughs> and the goods where he convinced the kids, like, oh, give me your... Bo- your hoppity hop for your big wheel. <laughs> is that what it was? What, what is that know. from? <laughs> Dude, you're asking me a movie. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember the, the goods uh, with the, 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 the used car salesman, Don Reddy? No, I don't know what that is. You, you, you never seen that movie? No. Oh, man, it's a good movie. You should watch it. I will. With Jeremy Piven. Oh, oh you hilarious. love Jeremy Piven. We know that. And oh, speaking God. of movies, I did not do. Uh, oh, you didn't oh, finish uh, Gremlins? You didn't I didn't start even start it. Start it. <laughs> Well, I'm assuming. That, well, that th- I this is like, this is how I typically feel. One like and one. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if you if you didn't finish it, obviously you should have not have started it. But I forgot I the did. class. It takes three days to watch a movie with you, so uh, yeah, yeah. yeah and so then, yeah, like with me, you were, if I said no, I didn't finish it, meant I didn't watch it. I, you didn't I even begin it. it. I no. got you. So that was no. a reasonable question that you asked. Okay, yes, okay. it was. <laughs> Like no, I will watch something. Today is the first of my four days off. I worked three in a row. I'm so tired, but I got, I'm going to stay up late. Um, I will watch it. I, I'll, I'll try between now and next next uh, show. I'll try to watch. It. It's not that hard. 
It's maybe two it's hours, so maybe an hour and a half. You don't understand, Doc. Hour. People like me in class kind of just don't like being told what to watch. It's, like, <laughs> it's just I welcome the recommendations because I haven't watched shit, but I just I don't know. I don't. That know. motherfucker don't know be on his Xbox on Netflix and just stream it. He'll just fucking browse through all the movies on Netflix. And like, I do that for as long that. in the two <laughs> yeah. hours I could have watched a movie. Yeah. I'm just like there ain't shit on here. Watch well, every. Well, we'll talk about Netflix that Netflix. because Netflix has got something for those people that can't find anything to watch on Netflix. So. Nice. We'll, dis- so we'll discuss that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, did you get? Well, I mean, with the you know the 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 fancy the the rich kids, they had the green machines. You guys remember the green machines with the big wheels? No. All right. Well, that was a great conversation. Let's just move <laughs> on. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> he just said we were poor. Like, I know. Well, we did have like there was one kid in my neighborhood who had a green machine. The rest of us had the big wheels with the, which always had that little like braking thing that you used to, like make curves and stuff like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I, I just had the wheels where you push back because you would pedal like that. Yeah. You would just do your brakes, your automatic brakes. I didn't have. Oh, you didn't have what? You didn't have a handbrake. No. Wow, dude, you were hand, poor. God, you guys yeah, didn't yeah, have yeah, handbrakes. Yeah, we at least had a we hand break. Had that one buddy on the on the street. His dad was a cop, and I remember that kid had like the first Atari. He had the first like he would get movies right off the bat. Like he was a kid that he probably had a fucking big egg or whatever. So saying. so was his dad finding these things? Like it must have because yeah, it's, that's <laughs> yeah. Cop it's salary. Like, they don't no, really no, no, make no, a lot of money, salary. do they? His his. Co- uh, I was either saying the cops were making money back then, or number two, he was finding product and he was selling this it. was also yeah this was also south florida in the 80s oh, so I'm sure, yeah. oh yeah yeah he was yeah doing yeah, yeah. Dude. The product. yeah he was yeah either that or he was doing you know colombian What's drug bust and like grizel whatever the fuck her name was the godmother grizel grado whatever the fuck yeah she was yeah him. she was paying <laughs> yeah. him off to fucking like transport I mean, the money that may have been the case because they moved from the like the neighborhood we were at they had the nicest house in that neighborhood they moved to this fucking ritzy ass place. Now I don't know what oh, his mom did, but he yeah, he go over there. Like a, he had a pool. Was, like whenever, whenever it was all said and done, it was like a thousand cops in the fucking Florida were like convicted or they were on the take. That, that he was one be, of them. <laughs> you know, up until this was, I was this was the mid eighties, mid to late eighties. I have never thought about that up until this point. That, <laughs> <laughs> that makes. I was like, wow, he he's a cop. He had a lot of money. I, yeah, I don't. He was on the. He wasn't on the up and up. It didn't sound like. He's like every episode of fucking Law and Order. No, oh, that cop has a nice car. What the fuck is he doing with all that? He can't afford that on cop money. Right. right. <laughs> we need that. Like, what is that? That Law and Order. Doom, like, doom. Boom. Doom, doom. Doom, yeah, doom. that in here. <laughs> well, guys, if you're residents of Deschutes County, Oregon, tonight they are starting off a. Uh, no, I'm sorry. In a month, uh, you can book. A uh, at the last blockbuster video store to actually stay the night in there. Three available nights: September eighteenth, nineteenth, and the twentieth. How um, much did it cost for each night? Four dollars. Oh shit! <laughs> and you sleep on the floor, like you bring a you bring a. I think, uh, let's see. No, they uh, they a place a fold out sofa, a beanbag chair, snacks, and a TV set, and a VHS player, and then you just get to choose whatever VHS that's at the blockbuster there. It's only for three days. Um, yeah, three available nights. I guess they're just trying it out to see what it's like. They can hold up to four people. I'm trying to think how I would do in a situation like that. If I would be like, finally, I'll sit here and like pay attention to a movie. Or if I'd be like five minutes in and be like, fuck this, I got to get out of here. Well, think just- about this. <laughs> like, how many people are going to use it as an actual Airbnb, especially if it's a couple? And that big ass window that it's blocked. Yeah, the- <laughs> well, you don't. I mean, are you just Dude, assuming you're gonna? Have, well, like, why? Like, wow, what a difference! I, f- I feel like this would be like a Jason Crow fantasy, is to <laughs> go to a blockbuster with all those VHSs and have sex oh, with himself. Yeah, sex in front of a window. Do what? Could, could you I imagine you, that? I, you I can meant, uh, with him. Yes. With, uh, yeah. No, no. Could, no. Could you imagine him showing up? With the fucking like a bunch of VHSs, they're like, dude, you you know, we got enough yes. VHSs here, right? He's like, but do you have these VHSs? I don't know. You know what? I feel like he would be the guy that's willing to fight. Like, let's roll the dice and see which VHSs versus him bringing in his catalog of VHS tapes, like ones that he's actually featured in. Because some of the some of the independent horror movies 
they've actually made VHS copies of. Specifically for who? Uh, no, no, well, no, they uh, they made it as like a limited run because there are people like him that still buy VHSs. I don't know why. Yes. I well, fifty say, of them. Do you think <laughs> that trend will ever come back? Like vinyls, they made a big comeback, and they're making a comeback. And I guess they went away, you know, during the CD you know, tape CD, but they were still around. But like, they're really making a big comeback now. I don't understand. I still like, don't understand the the vinyl comeback. I've I've I was explained. Uh, our our very own young Matthew explained this to me. The sound quality on vinyl is the best sound quality. Why is it the best? Do you because love the I, sound he, of the no. the 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 uh, the the skipping and the, the crackling. I mean the the way he explained it to me because he said he went to school for this or he knew this is because the way it's recorded, you you get. It's like you're actually there when they're recording you. He's like, I you do. don't get that with the, with MP3s. It's, a, or it's a nostalgic like thing, man. Because like I don't, I mean, I have Apple Music, but then like I've gone and I bought like, I mean, I just got this the other day. I got Nirvana unplugged, like fucking no doubt, like a bunch of '90s alternative, and like I got this Wu Tang Clan and like the Scott Pilgrim soundtrack, a bunch of shit that I'm just like. It's just cool to listen to it that way. It's fun. But, like, if they had, like, I know tapes are trying, like, cassettes are trying to make a comeback. And it's like, dude, the instantaneous of, like, picking the needle up or hitting the skip button, it's about the same. But rewinding, fast forward, doing all that with a tape, I couldn't imagine it. So I don't see, like, VHS will probably never make, like, a comeback. No, because, like. The quality like sucks, too. No, yeah, yeah the it does. The quality's not that good. So. Yeah. All right. That's, that's the only reason why I can say for 100% why people would prefer vinyl. But no yeah. one's going to be like, oh, I need, like, everything gets better with visual. But audio, I don't think there's nothing they could do to make it sound the way it does, you know? Right. Yeah, that makes sense. I answered my own question. <laughs> well, class, as we were talking about with Netflix, uh, they're going to be testing a shuffle button. Um, so you just click uh, you click the shuffle play button, and then it will just randomly find you something to watch. No, that's not going to work. Anyway, moving on. Next. Why would it work? It up. Why would it work? I think so. Who's Who's gonna like? Who literally is gonna be like? You know what? I'm so bored. Let me just press shuffle. Oh, I'm gonna watch some random movie about Victorian fucking princesses. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch that. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it's probably here. based off of like what you've seen, right? When I would, based off I would hope it's off of recommendations guess. versus just and randomly just hit you with something crazy, right? How many right. how many times have you seen on Netflix recommendations? You've watched nothing but horror films, and they fucking put a romantic comedy for you. Well, not hey, in the middle of the horror this? film section. No, it's his recommendation. Horror film, horror film, horror film, romantic comedy. And you've watched nothing but fucking horror films. Well, maybe they feel like this would really work for you, but you're not willing well, to try maybe it. it's a dumb idea and no one's going to use it. So. A dumb idea was when right. they had, uh, they set it up where it would play a random episodes of specific TV series. Yeah, imagine if you get the last episode hmm. of the new season of uh, <laughs> the Umbrella Academy. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more of like comedy, like The Office, like where people they put in it or put it on for background noises and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna put random episode of fucking The Office. Well, who but the I mean, do you? I, I, mean, I But when I watch like a, a comedy show on like Netflix, or something, I'm I'm watching the, the the story being told. I don't I don't randomly go, huh? Let's put this episode on. I like the pivot episode with friends. That's for Kennedy. He's not. Can you name he's, another uh, episode? He'll listen. Uh, on Friends? No. Like, okay. I never watched that show. <laughs> Just say oh. the duck episode. There's always a duck in their apartment. Is there a duck oh, always yeah. in the episodes? On Friends? Yeah, There's a I duck, think so. and then one of them has a twin sister who's a porn star. What? Like, I remember that. Who's twin yeah. sister? Really? A porn star. It was, was it a Phoebe, right? Phoebe had a porn, star, a porn star sister? I don't know. I knew she no, had she a twin. A, she, the twin sister was a porn star because they thought she was a oh. porn star. And then they saw it, and she's like, no, that's my twin sister. And they're like, huh? You got a twin sister? Like, stupid. I don't know how that show went on for that long, and they paid them that much money. I don't know, man. I remember, like, watching some episodes, and they were pretty funny. But then it's like, it's like anything else. After about four seasons, it just drags out. Then, like, the whole thing with, like, it's kind of like The Office. Once, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jim and Pam, like, actually get together. Then it's like, oh, well, the fucking chase is over. This is, like, Her her sister Ursula was the porn star. Yeah, so like, like the same thing. Like when the two ended up hooking up on Friends, well, that was just well, like, uh, it's well, it's kind of like uh, if you've ever watched Superstore. Like the main lead in that show is going to leave, and it just it really kills the show. 
Like the, the office didn't didn't survive with Michael Scott gone. No, why, I really like him. Guy, and they, why, why is she leaving? leaving the uh, she's uh, she's working oh. on another show. Oh, I thought it was yeah, transferred guy. to a different. A different yeah, they no, show. yeah, they tra- in the story they transfer her to California to oh. be a part with corporate, <laughs> and she's going to work. Yeah, she's getting a new sh- a new show, and I'm like, that that's fucking the show's dead. Like you're well, the you're the, the main character. The show? Like uh, a, a two people that were like trying to get like they were like Jim and Pam, and like the first season was them trying to get together, and now they now they're together. Around. Yeah, now they're dating, and she he's raising her kid, and yeah. While she's in California. Well, no, he moved with her. Oh, so, so they, they so they, so they took so too. they took two main characters and just shoved them out the door. <laughs> Oh my god! Did he get a job I, on that that new show? Uh, no, no, because he didn't. You. Yeah, you're right. He pretty she pretty much killed that her his that character. I'm going, hey, move with me. Just leave her, and you're yeah. done. Yeah, he should. They should. Yeah, he should just left her. <sighs> I really hope that dude's getting work somewhere else because I remember him on Mad Men. Like, fuck, that sucks. <laughs> All right, to continue on with this. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne, uh, and apparently in an interview recently was talking about would he be returning for the Matrix 4 movie. And uh, he said he will not be. Because the character is actually killed off in the video game on the Matrix There's Online. There's four Matrix? There will be four. There, will, there was three Matrix? <laughs> yes, there was three Matrix. Yo, get the fuck off the show. Yes, right. get off the show. Yes, Did you remember us having a whole conversation about it last week? Were you there with us? Dude, well, all those, you know, all those Matrix movies have, like, I've seen the first one, like, maybe twice. I saw it at the theater the first time. I think I told you guys that story. No, the first I one, sta- the I know theater. what you're saying. The first one really stands out. It's just the next two, you could, like, I don't even you could grab a how. scene and go, which movie is this from? Be like, ah. Oh. Really? Okay. I don't know. When I watched the first one, uh, we thought it was part of the movie. Like, the film started melting, and we're like, whoa, this is a crazy effect. And then, like, then we're just waiting, like, hanging out in the theater, and then the lights come on, and the guy's like, sorry, the film melted. So we had to get, like, passes, and I don't think I ever went back to see it. So you've it. never actually officially seen all of Matrix, the first one? I may have. Maybe that'll be the one. Maybe that'll be the movie I try Jesus to watch. Christ. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> So Kennedy would have me by, no. by the throat right now. <laughs> That's fucking weird. You're on a fucking fracking nerd show. You're in your 40s and you've never seen all three. Like He's never even officially the finished the first one is what he's saying. I don't know if I've seen the and first te- one. And te- like and te- that and right, Gremlins, he's almost done with because they're not really finished. People who listen to this show are like, get class off the fucking show. He's not <laughs> I don't want to. I'm probably going to it out here. <laughs> All right, let's talk comic books. Toys. That loud fucking kid from the Bronx actually knows. Now, now, so, so Joshua, <laughs> now do you realize when you didn't show up the one day that was just class and right. I was just like, mm, we just won't do the show. This one, like, this is well, not going to go well. Because it would just, know, it, funny. it would just but be I like, keep, hey, have you seen this? Nope. Okay. I keep saying he, he's kind of right. There are technically four Matrix movies because the other one's the animation. Oh um, yeah, you're right. Well, by Kennedy's definition, he would say that. Yeah. That, yeah, that's kind of true. Because he says that's all canon, him. what happens in that. Yeah, did, so they killed him in the game? What in the, the game, yes. In the, the Matrix Online, he gets killed. Wow. That sucks. That, I didn't. I don't remember anyone talking about this. In the, uh, Who played the fucking uh, game except for Kennedy? <laughs> that is true. I think I played maybe 20 minutes of the one that came out on PlayStation 2. So, yeah. <sighs> yeah. And I liked Matrix Part 1 and 2. Part 3, I was just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and I said, I even said it while I was watching the third one. I said, watch them say machines and humans have to coexist. Because the old man tells Neo, you know, it's funny. We can't live without them. They can't live without us. Hey, mm, Joshua, uh, like, spoiler alert. Come on, man. <laughs> you're not going to watch it. You're good. You're good. <laughs> if you can't watch Gremlins Part 1, you really think you're going to sit through Matrix 2 and 3? Uh, I just, I'm just talking I just, shit. I just saved you a lot. I mean, Gremlins is like prison. 30 years old. You 30 years old. You had the chance to watch it. I saw Total Recall, the original one, like five times. That movie was cool. Why five times? <laughs> Like you could have done four <laughs> times and watch Gremlins. Maybe not. You could have done three times did. and watch Gremlins and Goonies. And Matrix, you could have watched. Yeah. And wait, Goonies, no, yeah, yeah, two times and then finish the Matrix. But no, you said I need to know why he's going to Mars and see the three Again. titty bitch. <laughs> is why you went with that. So it's like I saw fifteen boobs. 
I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. They add up quickly. Math. <laughs> Actually, you see more because don't you see uh, Sharon Stone's boobs in that movie too? No. I thought she gets no, naked you in just that. See her like her ass. She's just all like hot and sweaty from oh, okay. like, like working work, out or something, and they something, fight. Yeah. All right. yeah. Michael oh, yeah. Ironside is banging her out. Well, Zack yeah. Snyder's working on a new movie. It's a zombie movie called Army of the Dead. And apparently they are shooting uh, reshoots for it because uh, Chris D'Elia, who's uh, been accused of sexual misconduct, is now, which the funny thing is, is like they just went, we're going to go complete opposite and go with a lesbian comedian instead of Chris. I mean, I think they both like women, so Tig Notaro is going to be taking over his place. Cannot wait to see how bad this movie becomes because when you reshoot and have to substitute with green screen, it looks really fu- like I want to say uh, Arrested Development bad. Oh, because you could like that, tell. like that, that final season <laughs> kind of thing, like yes, like Leia can't. in the last Star Wars movie is just like <laughs> what. And then, and then the best part is like when I read this, I was like, so you're gonna fucking tell me instead of going. Let's try to get another comedian that looks like him or an, a known, an unknown actor. We don't give a fuck. They're like, nah, no. let's go with a lesbian uh, yeah. comedian. Like, you know. I mean, no, there's like, no problem with <laughs> Tig Notaro. She's she's very funny. Like, but she's go- like they went the opposite direction. Like, even in I wide s- wide shots, they're though. gonna be like, oh yeah, we're gonna have to edit her out. Don't forget now. Remember, this is what everybody's uh, super excited about the Justice League reshoot um, because the Snyder cut. She- this is the same man that in Batman versus Superman had LexCorp already go in their advertisement group and create logos for all those metahumans that they show towards the end of the movie. This is Zack Snyder. This is the genius. People are so excited to see the Snyder cut of Justice League. All right, you're a hater. Anyway, they made fucking uh, logos of these metahumans. Let's, let's like they're like we found these people. Marketing. Let's get. Let's get merchandising on this. Let's create a Flash logo. Was, Let's create a Wonder, Wonder Woman logo. It was an encrypted file. Nobody and they had fucking it. logos. So what? Uh, that made no <laughs> sense. Nobody hey, man, cares. it's like Spaceballs, man. Spaceballs. Merchandising. Flamethrower. Yes. Merchandising. I've seen that movie. Yes, that's a Let's good movie. Spaceballs. Yes, I'm surrounded by assholes. I just can't wait to see this shit because it's going to look so out of place. Keep unless, firing, assholes. Unless, I, also, hold on, unless that character dies within the first 30 minutes of the movie. That's the only way. Well, then if he dies early, they could have easily just removed him, right? Uh, Yeah, they could have did that, but I guess the allegations are so bad they'd rather just reshoot. I mean, in the Predator movie, that. they just kept that guy in there. Yeah, but he was only in it for like five seconds. <laughs> they still in there, like, though. <laughs> but 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 that's the thing, though. Like, it wasn't that big of a deal. Like, no one no. cared. The movie no. flopped, and like you know, I heard like one actress was like uh, she had a bad experience shooting like a female West- western, and like the the director hated her so much that he wrote off the movie. And she's like, the motherfucker just had me go up to a fucking canyon and die. Like they didn't even shoot it; they just did a body double. Ah, oh, I fucking hated that. And I was just like, they could have did that with him. Like like, you know. The uh, the, mo- the movie sounds intense. Uh, it follows the aftermath of a zombie outbreak in Las Vegas and a group of mercenaries who venture into a quarantine zone to pull off the biggest heist. Because you know what? What's not worth more than like actual supplies during a zombie apocalypse is money in a casino. So think Ocean's Eleven with zombies. Okay, but you don't know the whole plot. Even though I agree with you, I was like, why the fuck are they going after money? Maybe that one section of Las Vegas is, like, zombie-filled and the rest of America is fine. Maybe that's what happened. But I agree with you. When I read the premise, I was like, this is the dumbest thing I ever heard. Well, then if if that place is zombie-filled everywhere else in America is fine, then when they just go nuke that location? Not nuke it, but you could bomb the fuck out. Okay, nuke it. Not nuke it. Nuke it's bad. bad what's to say uh fucking zombie survive maybe there's special kind of zombies uh chris DeLeo was accused of sexually harassing underage girls on social media in june that's how you say his name i don't know how you say Dalia. it Dalia. It's Dalia. Dalia. he's on he was on is Jordan that how you say his name 
That's how they say it. And you had no problem, I it was, no problem with fucking logos in Batman versus Superman. All right. I don't. But see, you, you fucking nitpicking. Fuck you. You always do this, and I'm just like, dude. I mean, when I saw that movie. scene, that scene and the Martha scene, both, I just go. Let it, let that it makes go. no fucking let sense. And no, wait, right. and and when the Flash shows up and he's just like. I think I'm too early. I'm like, yeah, you're in a wrong fucking movie, buddy. Like, you're not even supposed to be here, for God's sakes. How? How do you know that? Like, how do you know that? Well, because he just shows up and he's like, I'm, you know, and he, and they're like, oh, it's a dream or something. But he's like, I think, I think I'm too early. Nitpicking. You know, in the picking, in the picking. It's a sh- Watch it all make sense with the Snyder cut. Oh like, yes, oh, okay. Because that <laughs> that means he did a bad job as a director for putting so much bullshit in there to all tie up. Now, I could see if it's a TV series you do that, but not with a fucking movie. You have to sell everything on that movie, and everything has to have a point. It has to be completed by the end of that movie. Motherfucker. Anyway. All right, so let's do our little nerds of the round table here. I've got a quick question for you all. Not quick question. Well, quick question, but maybe a uh, a uh, good discussion. Kennedy. All right. Kennedy back. <laughs> Sight unseen. You have to go see a movie from one of these directors. Who are you going to see? Or, uh, as we were discussing, a Zack Snyder movie. Now, you don't know what movie it is. You just know it's a Zack Snyder movie. A Michael Bay movie or a Roland Emmerich movie. We'll start with Class. Class. Which one of these fucking He's directors Roland are you going to... Roland Emmerich. He did, He's like, makes all that natural like disaster Independence movies. Day and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Independence Day was the shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that wasn't good. So I'm hated on for like not watching movies, and I'm like, oh, I liked Independence. Yeah, like like Roland, Roland Emmerich is like the worst of the three, and they're all they're both all three of them are just horrible directors. Michael but... Bay is like, what's he do? No, I would have said Michael Bay. Explosion. He does Transformers. He right? does Transformers. The first Transformers was really cool, man. The rest of them, I I didn't really care for. Them. Yeah, you can tell this dude doesn't watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> Were they good? No. <laughs> the last two, one is so one. horrible. Yeah, the I first one was all right. It was cool. The but when they, but when they bring Mark Wahlberg and they're just like, no, ma'am, no. The first no. time I saw it, it was all right. It was a lot of Shia LaBeouf like, running around screaming, I'm coming, no! Like, that was the whole thing, him just screaming. screaming, what, screaming. Well, he's, he's yelling at a big robot. You had to hear him, yeah, right? Yeah, you got to scream. He's little, he's little and they're big. That makes sense. All right. Joshua, who are you? Well, uh, sight unseen. I'll you go with the go... Transformers guy. There, there. He, yeah, all right, you switched would, to Michael I, Bay. I, I, would, I would go Michael Bay because, like, uh, aside from fucking two movies Zack Snyder, Zack Snyder did, I really don't like much of his catalog. Like, I ain't trying to see... What are your, what are your two Zack Snyder movies. movies that you like? Um, 300 and uh, Batman. Like, the, the comic book movies he's done. Really, so you, just the comic book You don't like... Was, well, I mean, but you like The Watchmen then, right? Yeah, I don't oh, have a problem with The Watchmen. Shit. Did you like Day of the, or I changed my answer. Dawn of the Dead? I... I went to see it. I didn't have a problem with it, but I'm not a big zo- like I don't zombie films don't really do much for me. But I'm not gonna say, oh, Dawn of the Dead sucked. It was a fun movie, like you know. I know. Like I'm being honest. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like I can't say that like oh, Dawn of the Dead sucked. Now if you ask me, do you, I saw Sucker Punch one time and I'm like, oh god, that's movie. horrible. I, uh, I, yeah. I have no need to see that movie. Did I hate it? No. But did, would I go see it again? And somebody say, let's watch Sucker Punch. I'm like, I'll talk to you later. Like. <laughs> Unless I'm getting pussy, you know? Like, I'm not watching that movie. <laughs> um, um, shit. Like, I won't watch that Netflix movie. I have no interest in seeing that movie. <laughs> the Michael Bay one? No, the one he's doing on Netflix. Like, when I heard about this movie, I was like... Oh, the the that's this one we're talking about right here. Yeah. Yeah. Not... <laughs> so I would go Michael Bay because I've enjoyed a plethora of fucking Michael Bay movies. Which Michael Bay movies have you enjoyed? The Rock. That's a good movie. Um, I like Gone in sixty seconds. Okay. Um, yeah, what's we that other one? The Bad Boys movies are good. I can always watch those. Armageddon. That's a classic. <laughs> Wait, y'all laughed at me for Independence Day, but like Armageddon, you think that was better than uh, Armageddon? Than, than... Independence I actually, Day. I, I had this argument with him. He's like, "How do you like that movie?" I was like, "Bro, that was an awesome movie." Like, what are you talking? About? It wasn't like, bad, but it was like compared to like Independence Day was way cooler than Armageddon, man. Who the hell way cooler than Armageddon? 
Doc, what was the argument we had? Like Armageddon, I said Ar- Armageddon made more money than a certain movie. You're like, no, it did it. And I was like, I feel oh, like that was God. I, I think, wasn't that like at a uh, concave or something like that? We had that discussion about Armageddon? Yeah. Ooh, I forgot what it was up against. I don't remember. Or did it, somebody said it was bad. I was like, this movie made X amount of money. I, I no, we had, yeah. oh, we had a discussion at concave, but it wasn't on the air. It was at, uh, we were at Crystal's having this discussion. And I, I am the Armageddon Bad Kennedy because he hates when we talk about him, but that's his fault because he's never on the air because we'd still talk about him if he was on the air. <laughs> um, he loves that movie. And you, Joshua, felt like it, uh, it did really well. Yeah. And it did. So. <laughs> <laughs> but doing really well and like being a good movie. That I mean, well, there you go. That's like, Transformers. Like, Transformers did really well, but it is not a good movie. None of those movies. The first one was fun. It was silly. Kind of, the, the second one pissed me off with the Jamaican Rastafarian cars. I was like, "What the Dude, fuck is this?" About? <laughs> right off the bat, like I remember trying to watch the second one, and didn't it have something like one of the, or was it on the first one that like one of the transformers had like nuts or something like yeah balls hanging down or yeah the second it, was, one. it was yeah and that's was, i remember getting like that the point constructor was gods, like, wasn't it I, yeah and then yeah the two like jamaican like transformers and i was just well like, don't forget like jazz was like super like urban is the word they use <laughs> urban yeah but that <laughs> jazz like in the cartoon he was pretty like <laughs> you could tell it was like i mean you could tell that the, it was that a was black the dude was, had like he was, jive he was he was but, dancing, like, right yeah, he yeah. was. He was breakdancing. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. I, I What's up, Bloods? What's up, Titties? The Rastafarians came out and because the, the they area were ice trucks, right? Or something like no, I think they were like Vespas or something. Oh, Vespas. Remember, did they I, also I, have like the Italian stereotype with like the little tiny transformer? Yeah. But when the black the, the Rastafarian ones make their appearance in the movie, a black guy's like, "Yo, what the fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> And I just like drunk off my ass, going, "Yo, this is fucked up." Oh man! <laughs> all right, I didn't finish. Watching. See, I don't see it now. I'm having an issue. Is like, is all three are horrible. I yeah, like Zack Snyder's on. Dawn of the Dead. Bye, Joshua. It was good working with you. And 300, and even Watchmen, I enjoyed. It. But the Watchmen ev- was cool, man. But everything Watchmen else was cool. afterwards was cool. Was I oh, didn't enjoy it at all. Um, yeah, his D is. Like Superman and all that, I felt like it was crap. See, but Superman wasn't bad. I enjoyed Superman. I could watch Superman again. I can't no, feel I, I was I was into. There were yeah. stupid parts. The Jonathan Kent thing that was dumb. <laughs> no, but, like, no, you what, stay what? there. Don't save me. We don't want them to know who you are, dude. I can get you in back, and they won't even notice it. No, you stay yeah. there. You know what, Dad? I, I could have walked to you now by the time this is taken for you to tell me no, not to stay there. Again, Snacks, Zack Snyder movie there. See, but here's the thing, though. You see, he's like, yo, I don't want you to know. Blah, blah, Are you feeling all right? You're green on that. your shot there. You need to color correct uh, your fucking. Don't worry. Don't worry. I worry. He is the green eyed bebop. Don't worry about that. That's just my, my TV. Anyway, um, but the part that irks me the most is that Lois Lane, investigative reporter, was able to figure out who the fuck he was. In a matter of like what, twenty minutes? Well, she was a Pulitzer like, surprise or Pulitzer uh, Prize uh, journalist, so she knows her shit. Yeah, no, she sucks. Anyway, um, and also in like in, in Batman, was it Batman versus Superman? Yeah, you see how quick she moved when she had to get that spear of destiny or whatever the fuck it was called. Like she got there in like no time. Like Superman was taking a hard time getting there. Suspension of disbelief. Oh, right? it was no. suspended because anytime I see somebody get to <laughs> one point to another point, like. Way quicker than uh, they we we call it the Lois Lane syndrome. Yeah, you, you you're just the worst. Like, <laughs> you're the worst. And I can't wait to go see a movie with you so I can just see you fucking grumble and. Well, it all depends on the movie. Like, I mean, if we go see like a good movie, then I don't know. All right, guys, uh, to continue on, and fuck, I guess I'll go with fuck. I can't even. I can't even answer that. I can't even answer. That, that. I can't because Michael Bay. I enjoyed The Rock. There's a couple Michael Bay movies. Ronald Emmerich. No, they've all been horrible. I'll go with Zack Snyder just because there's more movies that I enjoyed. But there's more movies I hate of his, too. I'll move on. How is there more and more? Like, how can you like... So, I like three movies. I've already said. You walked away. 300, Watchmen, and Dawn of the Dead. Okay. Now, let's start removing one. We've got uh, Batman versus Superman. 
We've got uh, Sucker Punch, and we have Justice League. <laughs> I know what you were doing once I saw the three fingers up. Your <laughs> All right, so uh, okay, so let's do this. Now your directors, you have three directors to pick from. Um, sight unseen, you don't know what the movie's going to be. You have Quentin Tarantino, Edgar Wright, or Steven Spielberg. We'll start out with Class. Class, what Ooh. are these directors? Sight unseen, because you know, like Steven, he's, there's some movies that are not that good with him. Right. Edgar Wright. Honestly, I've only seen two of his movies that I know of, and one's my favorite movie, like Scott Pilgrim. One of my favorite movies, but Pulp Fiction for ages have been my favorite movies, or been one of my favorite movies. Ah, oh, so it's like, do you want that fun, quick, witty kind of like action, as well as like that cool like cinematography? More than likely, like with with uh, Edgar Wright, or do you want like that badass dialogue and like maybe like twenty minutes of like something cool in action with Quentin Tarantino, and thirty minutes of talking. And you're like an hour and a half of talking, but and, the talking keeps you captivated. And, and, for the and most 20 part. minutes of somebody staring at a toe or something like that. Yeah, that's okay. That was better than, I mean, it was Bridget Fonda's feet, man. Like, I don't get into feet, but like, Bridget Fonda, man. <laughs> I was like, I'm like a girl. Um, I would go, I'd probably go Edgar Wright, like now. Okay. Joshua. Edgar Wright. Edgar Wright. All right. Yeah, cause I I Baby Driver like I I love that mm, movie. That was a fucking amazing movie. amazing movie. And uh, he he just knows like he just knows how to captivate his audience. Yeah. So you're you're in. There hasn't been a miss with Edgar Wright in my book. So no, I agree. Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. Um, no. like the only problem I have with Tarantino is, uh, and I know Class will give me shit about it, is Jackie Brown. I don't feel like it's a it's, oh. it's a very strong movie at all compared to the rest of his lineup of films. Compared to like uh, Hateful Eight, really? Well, Hateful compared to a... Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, yeah, I feel those are much more entertaining than Jackie no, Brown. No, no, uh, no way. Okay, no way. It's I it's. Really... I think after, after I think after Jackie Brown, it kind of started descending. I loved his movies. I loved that. Uh, um... Didn't you get Kill Bill after Jackie Brown? Maybe I like no. Kill Bill better than I did, or I like Jackie Brown better than I did Kill Bill. Ooh. Yeah, I think those came out after Jackie Brown. Yeah, I, agree um, with that. I liked Kill Bill was amazing because I love Bruce Lee movies and like that obviously. Like, it, but I felt I felt like the like, first volume of Kill Bill was way better than the second one. One hundred percent, I agree. One hundred percent. I'm trying to figure out though, like um, most of his movies are like you know homages to like certain types of cinema. And I got that from um, Hollywood Story, or Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out what what was the homage to Jackie Brown. Like, could we, one of you guys help me with that? Yeah, no? it's 70s. Uh, like, like maybe black black exploitation yeah. type black of black exploitation film. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because there was Foxy Brown. That's what what Pam Greer was yep. part. You see, now we're talking movies that I've seen. Uh, mm-hmm. So it's like you had Foxy Brown that was part of it <laughs> from back in like the 70s and all that, and that was Pam Greer. And now she kind of reprises roles. Jackie Brown, a totally different character, but that same type of thing, the drug, uh, you know, the drug guy and, and uh, the drug lord, and the whole thing with Max Cherry, like, oh, an amazing movie, man. Robert De Niro is good. Bridget Fonda, like I said, unbelievable. Samuel Jackson really, plays it in everything. Yeah, Max Cherry really, just died last year. Uh, Tarantino does a great job with dialogue, but it's hit or miss with certain people. Yeah. Because, like, Hateful Eight, there's parts of that movie where I don't give a fuck, but then there's parts where I, I'm enjoying myself. Well, you, but like, if you Brock rewatch Hateful Eight, knowing it's a play, you understand the direction of yeah. how that movie is. Oh, yeah, but really? Yeah, it was it was actually written as a play. Makes a That's why it's sense. all the scene is all in that cabin, all in that room. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah, you, yeah. You, you can make the same thing with uh, Inglorious Bastards. Like you, you, you can make that into a play. Like, you understand? Like that dialogue is really, with the exception of maybe one or two action scenes, that's really a fucking, a fucking play. Okay. So I think the dialogue he he he's such a master of words, but then again, it's hit or miss. Like you know, like I could watch Inglorious Bastards from beginning to end, no problem. But Hateful Eight, there's some parts where I'm just like, I don't care about this. Well, you got to you got to commit like three and a half hours to watch Hateful Eight. That's that's a very long movie. That's four episodes on Netflix anyway. (laughs) 
That's but, Goonies uh, and Ghostbusters or whatever the fuck you want me to watch. All right. Now I need you all to name me one actor that you just simply hate and cannot watch in a film. Julia Will Roberts. Smith. What? Sorry, Will Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Okay. <laughs> Joshua. Will Smith. Will Smith. Mm. All right. Now you have to go see a movie directed by Edgar Wright starring Joshua Will, Will Smith. Smith. Will Smith. Are you going to go see that movie? It'd be good. Be real good. What about Julia Roberts? By Edgar Wright. No. <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> I just I hate her face, man. I hate I hate her so much. Mine would be Reese Witherspoon. Like, I'm fucking you know, just like Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. Yeah. What's your hatred with her? I don't know. She seems annoying. Annoying. Yeah. She's annoying. I think Julia Roberts seems like a uppity bitch. <laughs> Are you done? Maybe not. She might be like the <laughs> I don't know. I've always hated her. I just her face is <laughs> so smug and just so like fucking. Uh, just can't stand her. <laughs> well, I was saying about Gwyneth Paltrow beca- before she became Pepper Potts, and I'm like, all right, she's all right. But then I start hearing all these things where she doesn't even know what movie she's in. I'm oh like, yeah, she she was like, yeah, I'll even, yeah. being like she's a bitch too. Yeah, she's 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 <laughs> clueless. Uh, rumors are coming out now with uh, Sony Pictures as they work to continue uh, expanding their Spider Verse universe. That uh, Olivia Wilde, who's uh, become a, a hot commodity, commodity, in what? the director commodity, commodity in the uh, director realm, may be picking there up a un- untitled. Funny. Well, she had uh, well, she had Booksmart, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Correct. Um, but she. Uh, well, I mean, that's the thing is, is you you notice that there's a number of different, like the the director for. The Birds of Prey movie, which is really should have been called Harley Quinn. Um, that 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 director had like one movie. Like it doesn't. It just takes. Plus, she's a, she's she's got some name recognition behind it. She is supposed to be taking over a um, untitled female centered uh, movie at Sony Marvel movie. Word is is the they're thinking it might be Spider Woman. Now, do you feel like it's gonna be? Uh, what's her name? Jessica Jones? Not Jones. Jesus Christ. Uh, Not Walters. That's She Hulk. That's, uh, 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 Jessica Drew. That's it. Yeah. Because Gwen Stacy and also uh, Mary Jane Watson have also been. Well, Spider-Woman. weren't they trying to make a, a Black Cat movie or in a Silver State? Uh, oh yeah, Silver they, they that there was yeah with them both together, and then there was a there's talks Should've of a been. Silk movie too. So wouldn't it be one of those? Why can't you do Spider Woman? I mean, we literally heard the rumors about all these movies, and they never said anything about a Spider Woman movie. They said stuff about Silk, yep. Silver Sable, so and the Black Cat. So why why would we throw in? Unless somebody's Spider-Woman? just trying to, maybe she wants to. She likes the idea of Spider Woman and wants to push it and create it. Because she was kind of a villain for a while, wasn't she? I mean, oh, I so know. was Silver Sable. Really. Silver Sable was. Yeah. I just found out fucking uh, Electro has, is a female now in the comic books. So. Really? Electro has always been a female. Electro. Electro. Oh, Electro. Electro. No, yeah. okay. I'm sorry. I said Electro. Yeah. I, like, <laughs> yeah, I found I found this out on she... Marvel Strike. But yeah. Uh, really? Appara- apparently, uh, is it Clint Marco? or No, that Clint Marco Sandman, right? Yes. So, Mark something, what's what's uh, Electro's name? I don't know. Dylan something, Dylan, Mark, Mark, Mark Dylan, whatever. Um, he, like, right before he died, he gave the powers to a female, and she's now the new Electro, which is hilarious. Let's see I found here. out, th- I found that out because Marvel's Maxwell Ford Dylan. Introduced- <laughs> okay, Maxwell uh, he's Dylan. He's passed it on to Francine Fry. Yes. After his death this, in uh, the Amazing Spider-Man Volume 4, number 17, in October of 2016. I found this out because they introduced a female Electro, and everybody was like, what the fuck? And I had to do the research. Now, is she called Electro or is she called Electra? Uh, Electro, because they oh. can't call her Electra because it would be a few, uh, confusing. Interesting. I did not know that. Really? I might see if I have that comment. Well, as we continue on, Joshua's uh, favorite actor, Will Smith, is going to be working with Kevin Hart. <laughs> In a remake, which I never understand why they they do this, where they take uh, 
well-known shows and movies and give it a certain tint to it. Uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> is, uh... Ah! We We're going canceled. with this. We're canceled. I thought, no wonder you laughed at that hard hard joke. Whoa. No, you had the wow. honey. You had the honeymooners that they did this with. I'm trying to think what else. They're supposed to do the Brady Bunch with LL Cool J, but that just didn't. They was like, "Fuck that." <laughs> no, I don't think anything. And I, a true story. Um, Ride Along was supposed to be The Rock and um, Ryan Reynolds. Really? They, yeah. Originally, they wanted to do it with Ben Affleck and someone else, and then it was Ryan Reynolds and The Rock, and then they shelved it, and then they were just like, "Oh, rewrite it," and they added that tint to it as Doc would say. <laughs> Well, no, no, because Ride Along wasn't originally a, uh, it wasn't, like, it wasn't a show before. No, no, it was, like, you just, like, you said there was a trend where they added a tint to it. Yeah, because so I'm talking about, like, you know, with the Honeymooners, <laughs> they went ahead and made it a black cast. Um, I mean. This was a that, most that was subtle, a blatant, like, racist. <laughs> He's right, uh, though, because. And. Do they do that? Like, I mean, no, they no, they no, claim no. that they whitewash movies in this kind of the re, like a black washing a movie, like taking it going. Well, they did it with uh, oh um shit the the one about the 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 death of the funeral or something like that. Yeah, death in the family. Uh, death of the, the family. Death yeah, of, which was originally yeah, a definitely. British thing that had uh, what's his name from Game of Thrones on there who reprises the role. And then they did the American okay. version. Gay lover of yes. the, father, the dead father. <laughs> Little uh, small yeah, no, white like, gay like lover. Like, it was a good chunk of time where they were just like, oh, we're going to redo these mo- these shows and movies, but we're going to put them as black characters. And, but like no one complained. No one cared. But those movies didn't do that well. So. No, yeah, they didn't. No, they, they didn't do very well. But it just, I mean, you got to think, it, really, it's not hurting anybody. I mean, if you like planes, trains, and automobiles, guess what? It's still there. And class probably still hasn't watched it yet. So, I mean, we've what? got that going. Oh, that what? Movie. You've I watched it. With John Candy and, uh, and Steve Martin? That is correct. What's the premise of that movie? Yeah. It's about two guys traveling to Chicago for Thanksgiving, and uh, they're having a hard time getting the, the flight gets canceled or something like that. So they have to travel across country to try to get there. Sounds and like they they're both Kentucky. like they're both complete <laughs> opposites and ha- not doing well. That and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels are two amazing like Steve Martin movies from like the eighties that I think are very kind of maybe un- I don't know but Plain Trains and Automobiles I think that gets its praise. I don't think uh, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels gets praise that it should. Like everyone talks about the Jerk and like all these other like What's movies the... like that with Steve Martin. Jerk is incredible. Three Amigos too. Shit. Three Amigos. Three Amigos was the shit. What's the one where he's the mafioso guy with Rick Moranis? That oh. Rick Moranis is like he's like supposed to protect him, and he just keeps fucking breaking the law. And then like blue something or something like that. Is it my blue heaven or something? Yeah, like I that? think it is. Isn't oh, it? is that it? I haven't seen that. that. I I've never saw it from beginning to end, but the clips I've seen always fucking have me die because he's like Rick Moranis is like, yo, don't do this. I'm telling you, don't. And he's like, no, don't worry about it. And he just like breaks the law. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, I literally fucking die at that part, man. This shit helps me. Like, Steve Martin is, like, one of the greatest comedic actors of all time. Yeah. Oh, dude. And, and Rick Moranis is as well. Like, I absolutely love me some Rick Moranis, man. Oh, is it also, he I was fucking... in uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah. Blue Heaven. Yeah. Sergeant, Sergeant no, Steve Martin. Oh, like, no. I know people uh, don't talk about, about Steve that, Martin, that's though. fucking hilarious, too. I haven't seen that. Uh, let's see. Oh, what was the last thing he was in? Piece. Yeah, really? Pink Panther was the last really kind of thing. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. But yes, uh, they are working on that with. Uh, the class went out? No, I'm here. Can you hear me? He's quietly listening. Oh, to yeah. Us. We just have a I'm here. Uh, yeah. So uh, Will Smith and uh, Kevin Hart, because uh, there's not enough movies for Kevin Hart or The Rock to be in. So they've <laughs> taken some more. <laughs> They're in like the Rock day. doesn't like turn down any script at all, does he? They're like, "Hey, Rock, do you I know. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> just signs. It's he's in he's, everything. You know what it is? It's like I swear to God, him and Kevin Hart are trying to be the hardest working men in fucking Hollywood. And I shit you not, I told people I worked this. I said, "Give it like another year or two, you're gonna hear, oh, he's going to rehab for exhaustion." Because he just <laughs> that man never fucking stops. No, yeah, he'll he be on stop. Instagram at like four o'clock in the morning. Like I've been working out all day. I got to do this movie. and that. I think the pandemic should have been God's way of telling him, take a break. And he's still not taking a fucking break. No. He's like doing all these deals and shit. It's crazy. 
Yeah, yeah. It is. Well, guys, uh, <laughs> as we've constantly been talking about the uh, the writing on the wall, I think it becomes official next week with the uh, the the DC. Uh, what is their uh, little thing called? Fan, fandom. Yeah, fandom. fandom uh, that uh, all the original content that is on DC Universe, which includes Titan, Swamp Thing, Stargirl, and Justice League, among right now, which is also has. Doom Patrol and Harley Quinn are all moving to HBO Max. Mm. So uh, very soon, more likely DC Universe will just be a comic book reader. I still think they'll have like like old movies and shit like that on there. Why? You might as well just move it all to HBO Max. Not necessarily because I don't I don't think HBO Max will like have it com- like you know like just have like this. I'm trying to find the right word, but they don't want, like, that fucking excess of stuff there. And, like, you know, people just, like, get distracted by it and stuff like that. I think, like, they should have, like, certain... You say they don't need... They need to keep down on all the content that they're putting up there because people may get distracted with all the stuff they can watch? I mean, mean, look at Netflix. Netflix, at at some point, Netflix is going to put out so much content that some of the movies, like, you're going to be like, yeah, we don't want anything else because everything's Netflix-based, you know? So HBO is probably like, yeah, we want to like keep it like that. I feel like DC could still be good if they just let like old fucking episodes of Smallville and stuff like that stay on DC Universe. Yeah, because that's what people are rushing to DC Universe is to watch Smallville. No, nope. that's the thing though. Nobody was, but even I was like, holy shit, I should have been on this fucking earlier because of all the stuff they had on there. Like that was that blew Marvel Unlimited out the water, bro. They had all that stuff, the community uh chat. The fucking shows telling you what to read and stuff like that. Marvel Unlimited ain't doing that shit. No, they're not. Like, they do giving so, you stuff. Now that they, they cut down on all the DC staff too, you think oh, those they people do. are yeah. going to be? No, because like they like half they the cut, people working. They cut that weekly show, and like the guy was like, "I don't know why they did this." We, I was like, "Holy shit, this weekly show is really fucking good." And they were telling people, "Hey, you know, this is the 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 fucking thing, but go out and buy these issues. Go and buy this issue." And I was like, fuck, why would they get rid of that? That that was making them money. Mm-hmm. Like, because wouldn't you want to sign on to that and be like, yo, check out the weekly update? Hey, guys, check out this read on the app, but also go to the comic book store and buy this. Like, yeah. why would you get rid of that? That's true. That's true. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, moving on. There's always those awkward <laughs> so- On November 17th, 1978, Joshua wasn't even in existence. I was uh, swimming in my dad's ball. <laughs> there was. <laughs> when were you born? Eighty four. Yeah, no, you Jesus. weren't in his balls yet. Good lord! You know, swimming you, in his balls. You know how much sperm, sperm gets reproduced and created and exploded out? I don't. Know, that was not the word know. I was trying for. I, I, didn't, I didn't watch that episode of fucking <laughs> King of the Hill. Well, the Star Wars holiday special was released, and instantly Lucas pulled it off the air, and only <laughs> it was so so bad. But now, because I guess people constantly talking about it, being on YouTube and everything else, that now the Lego Star Wars Holiday Special will be on Disney+. <laughs> Plus. It's going to reunite Ray, Finn, Poe, Chewie, Rose, because, ugh. And all your favorite droids from R2-D2 to BB-8 for a joyous feast on Life Day. Is John Boyer going to come and do this? Uh, well, they say Finn, but they'll probably get somebody. I think he's done, isn't he? Like, yeah, like I think like they don't want that guy anywhere near anything. <laughs> so yeah, so they'll probably have somebody voice his uh, accent on the, the movie. A horrible American accent. <laughs> uh, it'll be set after Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. So if you were wondering if Rose died, apparently uh, she's still alive. I heard the um, speaking of Star Wars stuff. Um, we're getting a spinoff for Kylo Ren. Is this like a comic book or a movie series or something? No. I don't know. <laughs> Doc just groaning. What happened, Doc? <laughs> Doc, tell me what happened. What, what did Disney do now to ruin your favorite franchises? No, they're not doing anything like that. that there's no Kylo Ren movie. <sighs> You get any there of your that Rise of Kyra Lil Ren comic that was pretty good, but after like the second issue again, like, if you see an article, especially if it says who got you covered, 
You do not follow that as information. I, I didn't I didn't see the who published it. I just saw it in passing. So if it was like what was the discover... most recent one that I think you talked about and I instantly tweeted this oh, is with, um Shia LaBeouf as uh, oh, Iceman? Yes, as Iceman. And then yeah. and it came from Who Got You Covered. Like and they like, like the day before shocked. Ryan Reynolds like they posted Ryan Reynolds was gonna be something and he was like, No I'm not Hawkman. Yes. Hawkman. And I was just like, they've, they have, they just, they're like hoping that one of these rumors stick. Because and, I thought it was the the TV station in Canada, the news station. I was like, oh, they're not gonna, like, they're gonna do their research, right? But it was like we got this discovered, like, was mm-hmm. the the source. And I was like, I guess that's sad that they think that's a reputable reputable source. They don't know. So I've got friends that constantly post about that stuff, and I and like I, I I do a, a a podcast and a Facebook page just. To, Constantly provide information that's from reputable sources. Well, to be fair, Doc, you didn't know the – you were like, I can't find this article about Olivia Wilde. And I was like, here, I just found it. Well, no, I couldn't find it on the Deadline uh, webpage, but now it's it's the main focus on there. Okay. So I don't know why when I went there it just hadn't popped up yet. But yeah, no, it's 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 front, front and center on there. You are correct. I thought it got pulled there because I was like, well, why am I not seeing it? Maybe this was all bullshit. Yeah. Um, but who what knows? Time is it? <laughs> um, did you guys hear about the the guy named uh, Unknown Henson who does the voice of the Squid Billies? Squid Billy. <laughs> Stuart Daniel Baker apparently uh, really didn't like the fact that uh, Dolly Parton came out for Black Lives Matter, and uh, I guess made it known on was it Twitter or something like that? Where uh, I saw it uh, on on it went Twitter, and then he posted his rebuttal after what happened on Facebook. So. Yeah, he was, uh, he said, folks, well, this is like his rebuttal after he got fired. He I did, just want to uh, know, I didn't know Squid Bellies were still on the air. Yeah, they d- ran it for 12 seasons. I can't get into that show. I never could get into that show either. Uh, he says, folks, I've been fired from my cartoon show, lost my endorsements, and my chance of ever being booked by any music venue as Unknown Henson again. I just hope you a-holes are happy you took a good man and talent down. You succeeded. Be that. proud that you ruined a person's life all because of the freak show called Dolly Parton and Black Lives Matter. Thanks a lot. I gave my best to you assholes for 30 years. I guess you love to kick someone when they are down. That's a, well, You know what? You didn't have to respond to anything. You could have just just let it be. No, that's not how he is. He's unknown Henson. He's a squid billy guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess like they were real surprised. Wait, this guy who plays like a super redneck squid may be racist? I don't think he was racist. Like I think what he said was just like, what the fuck? Like you you're you're like I think that was the countryness in him which could be racist, I guess. <laughs> but I read what he said and I was just like, Yeah, I mean, it's not something you should be saying because people are gonna come at you the wrong way and they got after him, so. That's right. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Um, in uh, comic book news, first thing to talk about is uh, I gave some credit where credit was due, which is I always appreciate uh, Joshua class. <laughs> um, but uh, but class rep- uh, recommended uh, deceased uh, unkillables, which I uh, I ran through really quick. Now the comic is very good, very enjoyable. It's, it, it takes. Uh, it's kind of anti. It take anti heroes. It takes heroes and takes villains, and they kind of group up to really protect these kids mm-hmm. um, that are trapped in Gotham in like a school. And um, it's really good, really violent. It's short though, really uh, violent, way too short. I and agree. so, like, I give him props, and lo and behold, the artist of Unkillables, uh, mm-hmm. he uh, he uh, he liked the tweet. He, he gave did. us props. He, he did. He gave us props. He did. I would say I thought that was pretty cool. I immediately started following him afterwards because I was like, I didn't realize that was him. But uh, I didn't either. I, I, was I was like, like yeah, I was like, who, cool. I was like, who liked this? And I was like, oh, I'm the artist of Unkillables. I was like, that's pretty cool. I didn't. Whoa, I didn't do the whoa. Joshua thing and put like ad or hash marks or anything like that to get them to read my tweet i just i just posted wait wait, his... wait, wait, wait wait is that what that is that what you meant by that oh, yeah. i don't have to go to joshua route do what yes that's right I, when the fuck <laughs> do I do that? all the time i, I, I see what? you at lebron all the time when they lose i never, no, I, I never <laughs> at lebron 
LeBron, you fucking liar. You I, I know, I do. I at LeBron. <laughs> I did it yesterday. I, know, I didn't go LeBron. <laughs> I say that. I don't have to add anybody because I don't care. So, if anything, that comic book artist vanity searched himself or something. So, well, no, he probably, he had no, he like probably, tag, like anything yeah. that pops up, he could read that tweet. Yeah. I would guess. No, but you have to put the hashtag in front of it. There he was no hashtag. Like a, yeah, oh, he, he vanity searched himself. There was no hashtag. Maybe he's a maybe we got he a new saw, so he had the show. word unkillables pop up and he saw a tweet and he liked it. There you go. He gave maybe credit we'll where credit was sketch due. Covers because like whenever you tweeted that about uh, the sketch covers, we got like no no responses. No, I know. <laughs> no one gave a shit. No. Nope. <laughs> now we're trying to no, figure no, out a I, way. Uh, class, there has been, like, class. Do you have any of them? Yeah, you got one there. Do you got you got the other one? I have that one. That's a really good fucking I, I did a uh, secret invasion. I just did this crazy looking scroll. He froze. Uh, those are the only two I have right now. Those. But he is looking like to, to do a giveaway, but we got to figure out a way to give them away. I thought of a game. I did think of a game. Okay. Where, uh, it would be like a 20 questions. I would host it somehow. I would have to figure this out. You come up I with them and then you just run the show. I would. What's that? Nothing. Go, go. You're fine. All right. Sorry. I I would have to host it because I would interview like say Joshua. Or I would interview yourself, and we'd have to have Kennedy on. Oh, good and luck with that. Be where yeah, I would I would ask you a question. We would play what I ask you. I would pause it, and then it would be either I'll give you two options. Did did Doc say A or did Doc say B? And then they go back and forth. They would play for a listener, and. It, Whoever gets the most answers right, we could do it like that. Okay. Random questions. I don't know. I don't know what they'd be, but we'll have to get that squared away. Somehow. Interesting. I'll, I'll, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's stupid. It might be. Might be kind of fun. I'm gonna go to the comic shop this weekend and see what kind of blank covers they have. So I'll that <laughs> those are taken. I can't, I can't wait to get one so I can frame it next to my Rick and Morty. Uh, I need to make you one. I need to make you one for your belated birthday. <laughs> and uh, in recent news with Wolverine, there's Wolverine Black, White, and Blood. The number of different artists and writers will actually be working <laughs> with the character. What's that? <laughs> I still don't know what you're saying. You're giggling. Snick, snick, snick. Are you saying snick? snick? What? Anywho, move on. Uh, some of the creative uh, talent working on it is uh, Chris Claremont, Saldine Ahmad, Donny Cates, Kelly Thompson, uh, Kev Walker, Le- Le- Leonard Kirk. Leonard Kirk, and much, much more. So those are actually some well-known writers and artists Mm -hmm. there that are going to be working on it. And if you've not played or done the beta for the Marvel's Avengers, apparently there was a leak of the number of different characters that you will be able to play. The list of uh, characters in alphabetical order that are confirmed are Ant-Man, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, Falcon, Hawkeye, Hulkbuster, Kate Bishop, Marvel, Mockingbird, Quake, Scarlet Witch, She Hulk, Vision, War Machine, Wasp, and the Winter Soldier. No oh, Venom? I, I don't care. Well, they were it's saying Venom. it seems like mostly MCU characters because there's no X Men in the list. There's no Guardians. Yeah. I don't think they I would. I'm not surprised. Uh, I mean, really. I mean, are they going to do Marvel from Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel? No, Captain Marvel. It's, it's Marvel. Captain Marvel. But are, is it yeah, going to be like well, what's her name uh, from it? Is Marvel like uh, the Jude Law? Law? Not Jude Law. It wasn't Jude Law? It was a. Uh, it was uh, what's her name? Oh, Annette Benning. Annette Benning. Yeah. She oh, was that's right. That's right. That'd be stupid. It needs to be the dude Marvel who died from cancer. Well, in the MCU, it's her. He died from cancer? Yeah, you never heard about that? No, dude, that's one of the craziest stories, man. The death of Captain Marvel. It's It came out in the 80s. Dude, it's fucking like he was oh, absorbing man, the power. It's been a long time since I've read it, but I believe like he had that power cosmic, or that's the Ghostbuster, or, uh, 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 um, Silver Surfer thing. Um, but he has like that power, that Captain Marvel power. And because he was like human or whatever, like every time he'd use it or it being around all that, he was like developing cancer and like, and it killed him. And it's fucked up because he's like laying in bed, like all like emaciated and little, and like all the heroes are coming in, like wishing him well. And like, you're talking like the second Marvel, right? 
the original Captain Marvel. I thought the original was not a... Shazam, like, but the the blonde guy, the blonde short hair guy. Okay. It's, I gotta uh, read this. He never this... came back. It's it's a fucking depressing comic. I gotta, Everyone comes I gotta in read and this cries now. and holds him. Yeah, like. Give it's, me the issue so I can read it on Marvel. It's a, it. it's a, I think it's just a, a, a trade paperback. It's uh, the death of Captain Marvel. Because the original one was a Cree. Yeah. No, this is the death of Captain Marvel. Marvel. Trade pa- yeah, this is, I don't know if you can see. I thought, didn't he hand off the power My to God. another person? Let's see. I, I, I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but like the death of it's. Yeah, it's fucked up. This came out in 82. Uh, there's a. Uh, he adopts the identity of a, a recently deceased scientist named Walter Lawson. Yeah. But he's still a Cree. Let's see. Okay. I, well, thought, I, but I thought somebody else took on the, the. It's a trade paperback. It's like a, a graphic novel. No, no, I know, but like I don't think Marvel Unlimited does that. I think I have to get. Oh, the they don't have individual issues. That was yeah. just like a standalone story. I uh, yeah, they do. They yeah. have individual yeah. issues. No, I gotta look uh, it up then. I'm saying that was a uh, graphic novel. They, that was uh, in an Jim individual Starlin. issue. It was like a standalone. Very yeah, depressing. Very. His very depressing. exposure to well, compound I'm thirteen nerve gases giving him cancer. And his nega bands, nega bands don't stop. Doesn't discriminate against any type of race. No, <laughs> I got him. No. I got him, man. I remember reading that as a kid, like being like seven or eight, and like, fuck, this is deep, man. Like, I don't know. Just smoking a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Going out like John. Out of his like throat hole and shit. <laughs> Going out like Johnny Sacks from The Sopranos, like I don't fucking care. Uh. Yeah, now nah, you just laying in bed the whole episode. Well, we discussed episode. last week uh, flying in Batman, or really gliding as glider. Kept, as we kept telling Kennedy, gliding. Um, but now there is the the rumors coming out with the next uh, Batman game, and uh, they're confirming the Count of Owls will be showing up. What was that? The Court of Owls. The Court of Owls, sorry. The Court of Owls. Count one, <laughs> two, three, burn. Originally introduced in the new 52 storyline. <laughs> no sold it. <laughs> they have, uh, they've they been in Gotham for many, many years, kind of overseeing everything, and then finally decide to make their appearance known to Batman and cause all kinds of havoc along with this. His brother's one of them. Uh, what's that? His brother was one of them. He was the one of the the court of owls. Yes, you're right. Count but of owls. The, the the court, the count. <laughs> one, Fuck up. two, three. <laughs> I was reading quickly. Three oh, owls. owls. <laughs> Along with the Suicide Squad game, uh, with which released an image, we should be getting more information uh, again next week. They also the, said, um, "What Two-Face did they?" Face is kind of like the second main villain of the Batman game. Really, I saw that. So I figured that maybe Why do you call us two phrase? It's working. really about you. Not me. I'm not even on the billboard. He's not... no selling that kind of owl shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, not putting it over. It's all right. Sometimes I mispronounce it's things, good. okay? I'm sorry. I say the wrong words and they come out of my mouth and I just keep going. <laughs> I don't know why. Destroy of words. Why this is a thing that you, you <laughs> guys have the of the vocabulary. <laughs> why you guys have problems with what I say. And how I put them together. Because here's the thing, though. If it was one of us, you would do the same fucking thing. So- no, no, no. I never make fun of any of you all for what you do. Uh, and then lastly. <laughs> I literally have fucking Twitter responses and Facebook responses that say otherwise, asshole. <laughs> lastly, uh, where it looks like we're going to get it beginning of the boys season three. And uh, Jensen Ackles has now been uh, scheduled to be playing uh, Soldier Boy. Who is, uh, in essence, Captain America, if you've read the comics. With a coke problem. Yeah, well, in a cock problem. And, uh... Uh, (laughs) Isn't that everybody's problems in that fucking show? Well, yeah. Well, because he... Which kind of tells me I'm wondering if they're going to be doing Herogasm in Season 3. Because that's that's one of the stories. Because Homelander makes him suck his dick. And, like, you don't tell anybody. And it's not gay. So he's like, sure, let me be in the uh, let me be in the seven. 
Um, an interesting part is that's how you get into seven, though. That's that's. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but I don't. I didn't. mean, I I doubt that they do that because they didn't do that, and that was like kind of like one of the most no. shocking things in the first issue, I believe, with the girl. Yes, and, she had to take on there, multiple. There, she was like the the chick with the Phoenix Suns. Um, but <laughs> fucking. I, I'm trying to figure out, like, they're not going the same direction with Homeland that they, in the show that they are in the comic book, right? Well, unless they do a switch with, um, well, I don't want to say because then that spoils it, but another black character. Tint. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a clone of some certain Homelander. I think you it on the show already. I think so, yes. Uh, but I, yeah, I really feel like they're going a different direction, but, uh, Jensen Ackles was actually number two for the original part of Captain America before it went to Chris Evans. I think they made the right choice. <laughs> so if you really, you are getting Captain America or we'll get to see what Captain America would have been with Jensen as gay guy. Well, no, he's trying to get up. I know, I know, I know. It upsets you. No, I gotta like finish. I gotta. St- I gotta finish the boys. I left off. I gotta. And the book. Yeah, you definitely gotta finish the comics. It's good. Right. I will. All right. Well, that will bring the show to a close. Class, um, what'd you learn this week? I, I learned that um, for uh, twelve dollars. You guys could probably drag me to Blockbuster. I would pay and actually force me to watch a movie. And um, I'd, I'd actually do that. I'd hang out on Beanbag Chair, eat snacks, and watch watch get, you know watch all that. Gremlins. Shit. Yeah, I mean, Gremlins. I figure if we if we like brought beer, had some uh, some other things to eat to enhance mm-hmm. it. Um, I think you could mm-hmm. stay with us and watch a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I need those, uh, Plus, like, you get my commentary, and, and Joshua says that's that's what's to die for is my commentary while watching a live movie. No, no, I want to experience that because I feel like you're such a fucking nitpicker that we could watch a fucking movie and you'd be like, oh, oh look at this. Well, see, now, that, that, here's the thing. If I go to a theater, I stay quiet because I am respectful. Un- un- it unless it's that, Batman right? versus have, Superman have, have where this. I'm just like, oh, my God. Have discussion afterwards, so like, well, yes. you don't notice. Now, I mean, kind of like we, we are doing. sitting in a room with just ourselves. Fuck you! I'll fucking talk to that whole motherfucking movie. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> That's what I learned, <laughs> Joshua. What did you learn this week? Fucking show. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> My, I, I don't have good reception. It's going in and out. Uh, well, yeah. What did you, you learn, Joshua? He was going to know. No, okay. <laughs> so you didn't, it up. So that's it. You didn't learn anything. You just, uh, you just, you're just cutting. Yeah, it out. it's bad reception. Right. Oh. <sighs> but, okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. What? Did, what? What happened? Did you ask me what I learned this week? Yes, that's what we asked you. Uh, oh yeah, I learned like LeBron James doesn't like uh, losing, and he'll he'll change the subject when he loses. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you think he really likes losing? No, just I just find it funny. Like he he's supposed to win, and like when he doesn't win, it's like ah, I'm not talking about basketball. I'm talking about social justice stuff. Like I'm like no, what, hey, we're, buddy, we're we're paying you to we're paying you to play. Five, we're paying. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I have learned I that uh, there are or... there's people out there willing to pay 15 cents to go see a movie that could be filled with COVID running rampant. At their local AMC theater. I will. Why? Shit. Because I want to see movies for 15 cents that just came out. No, it's Even not. For, that's, no, that's it's not. not the those are not the ones. No. I, I know. I, I, I know. I know. That's not the case. Movie I, theaters ain't opening up here in the. Uh, and then, and then Warner things. Brothers is really putting it over on the theaters. They're like, hey, you got to open up, but you're going to give us 80% of the take on Tenet. So. Yeah, go see Tenet. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to give us all that money, but you're going to have to keep it safe. I did just, hear that Train to Busan is uh, two, the Peninsula. Peninsula or whatever. It's supposed to be coming out uh, in theaters. I think Friday, and I'm like, Psh, I'll mask up. I want to see that shit in the theater. You're not going to see it here. It's not going to be around here. I heard it is. No, where, dude? Dude, watch, watch here. Another localized part of the show. If you live in the Louisville, Southern Indiana area, 
Uh, what was it? Train to Busan. Yep. Uh, Peninsula. It's going to be. It's in Louisville. Where? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I'm waiting. I want to know. All right. Well, you're going to have to do some editing. When's it come out? <laughs> it came out <laughs> on the 12th. It came comes out, out on Dane time. Dane time. <laughs> it came out it last out. week. Did it? Yep. Came out on the 12th. I heard about it on that sweat on that uh I heard it's supposed to come out on like the twenty or it's supposed to be right here like the twenty sixth or the twenty first. AMC, hold on. AMC Louisville. Let's take a look here. They don't even open until next week. Okay, well, maybe look, maybe I'm just totally wrong too, okay? okay. I I, I <laughs> maybe possible. The guy the guy who doesn't watch movies is right about what time a movie comes out or when it comes out. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to click on advanced tickets to see if it actually goes anywhere. Uh, blah, blah, blah. nope, really doesn't say anything. I don't think it's. I don't think that's the movie that's gonna go. Cause no, I mean, who's? No, no, no. I'll be watching it on Plex. Oh, yeah, put it on it. Plex. Yeah, put it on Plex. <laughs> it's not on Plex. All right. Uh, well then, <laughs> class. How can we can learn we more about you? Two of uh, the Life and Times of Tim. What's that? Can what? we get season two of the Life and Times of Tim? And I don't have all the seasons on there. Train to Busan. Great news. Right. Theater is planned to reopen August 27th. But that's, I don't know if that just. That, that means nothing. Kinda... No, they're the first movie is that Russell Crowe movie and then Tenet. So, yeah, that's not coming. That's the number one movie in the world. Is Did it? you see that? No. Yeah, they keep, they're like the number one movie in the world on his. I'm like, well, that's the only movie that comes out. It is. Right? It's the only one that comes out. <laughs> It's like, if it wasn't, that'd be bad. It's like the Keanu know, Reeves movie know. with baseball where he's teaching those uh, kids baseball or something. It was the movie that came out after 9-11 because nobody wanted to go do anything. You mean Hardball? Was that it? Yeah, it's called Hardball. Yeah, that was like the number one movie. Uh, but yeah, I was like, Australia has like no COVID problem, so I guess they open up the movie theaters. Whatever. The cat gets your I know. attention. I know. <laughs> he's yelling at me. I don't know why he's yelling at me. Class, what? Uh, how can we find more information about you? As you probably saw at the beginning of the show, when my name came across and you saw a tag, right, Doc? Uh, you could get a hold of me at Chris Class B R H on Instagram or Twitter. All right. And then, Joshua, how can we find more information about you? Uh, yeah, if you want to see me bitch and moan about basketball. Uh, yeah, he's posting way too much basketball stuff. Well, it's the, it's the playoffs, so, you know, I'm always going to be watching the games and complaining. Uh, you can catch me at Green Eye Bebop. Um, and if you want to see me post stuff randomly on Instagram, just follow me at uh, Green Eye Bebop on uh, Instagram as well. Excellent. And if you want to find more information about the Fracking Nerds, go to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. We've got the... You can watch, if you're listening to the podcast, uh, go watch the video of us and see what we look like. And then judge us on our looks and actually add more content to it. So, uh, yes, enjoy. Or, Don't worry, this is going to get all trimmed off soon enough. And then if you uh, and if you want uh, to see what I write on Twitter, go to Doc underscore Martin. And, uh, oh, you mean when you want to just bother me? Yeah. I've been posting random stuff <laughs> recently. Like when I get oh, yeah, class. Oh, yeah, James. Loses. I'm gonna tag LeBron James because he's gonna look at him like that goddamn Doc Martin. Ah, fuck him. And the Lakers. I did. I did make sure that they were. Uh, I, if I was on the fucking Hawks. He'd be happy. I was on. His no, I wouldn't. I no, I would not want him on the Hawks because I heard they You're were talking about. Liar. You're no, I don't liar. want him because that means I'd have to. That was like when Christian Leitner played for the Hawks, and I'm like, oh, no, I can't. I can't root for you. Just, I just can't. I can't. All is not forgiven if uh, someone from from another team that like you might despise or a player you might despise goes on your team. Yeah, no, I'm 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 like that. Like, uh, like football as well. Like someone jumps to the Falcons. Who do you hate? Like Dak Prescott or something. He ends up taking Matt Ryan's place. Well, yeah, like, yeah, I'd get yeah, really mad. Dad. Yeah, I'd get really mad because the other half of the Falcons fans that are like oh, Michael Vick was the best we ever have. Those fans. Um, yeah, they would. That would. Uh, 
Probably Brady. Okay. I would be annoyed if Brady joined the team. The greatest Brady? quarterback of all time. I would, because because yeah, I mean I, you can't hate him happy. if he's on your team. So imagine Tom Brady and Julio Jones. I know. Oh, yeah, bro. Well, no, because he's not going to throw to Julio. He's going to throw to whoever no, a white to, guy uh, cuts up the middle. <laughs> No, they just tell. They tell Julio. Austin Hooper. Throw. Is that who that is? Well, no, that we got rid of him. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> That's how fucking Julio run, run and cut to the middle. He'll throw to you all the time. Like Calvin Ridley. Calvin dude. Ridley could possibly, but now Calvin Ridley's your number two, so he's gonna be on the outside. So I don't know who they're. Not with that bum fucking guy. Uh... Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan's not no, a bum I'm fucking. No, sorry, guy. I thought Ridley was. Uh, who's the Who's the running back? Oh, uh, what's that? Tevin Coleman. Yeah. No, yeah, no, we've got Coleman. the one guy from the Rams. Yeah, we got the guy. You got the guy from the oh, Gurley. Yeah, Gurley? Todd Gurley. Yeah, yeah. Gurley, but he's got a bad knee, so it's like, eh. Yeah. They don't feel like he has a bad knee. Like two great seasons. They, no, they feel like he's two gonna be great good. Seasons and like they're gonna be good. <laughs> it's all right. How's your How's your uh, Washington team doing with all their rape allegations? Yeah, with your Washington. players. You don't even have a name. <laughs> they're not my. They're not even my team anymore. That's what this season's gonna be for me. It's gonna be me worrying about my fantasy it's a football Washington team, team and searching out like a new football team to. Watch with the Washington football team actually like make it to the Super Bowl this year. You like, can maybe. come be a Falcons fan. That's fine. We well, we do have like Jack Del Rio now, so it's like well, that's pretty cool. I was really interested in that. Then, yeah, because he did such a great like, job with Carolina. Hmm. Well, so. the first like what season or two that he had. With I Cam. think he built the basis for a good defense on Carolina, and then he just, once they got Cam Newton, they were just like we're going to shy away from that. Like yeah. he's a very defensive minded. Coach. Yeah, they didn't know what to do with Cam so. Newton. And, and after they, they people got them. footage of Newton, they were like, oh, we know how to shut him down. And then they start tackling him. He's like, that hurts. Stop. That hurts. I'm going to put my blouse on and my hat. Stop making fun of me. You know what? The thing is, though, like maybe that wasn't his call. Maybe that was management's call. because you know, To the wear the blouse and the hat? Carolina. No, I'm talking about like when they were supposed to shut Cam Newton down. Oh, like, yeah. Maybe that's not his call. Maybe that's management, you know? That very likely could be. We don't know. We but don't. he's a weirdo too, so I don't see him be on the Patriots. Bill Belichick be like, you gotta get the fuck out. Of Antonio Brown lasted one game. I think Cam Newton doesn't <laughs> fucking last one week. Like they were all talking about that on ESPN. Like, oh, he's definitely gonna be the starter. I'm like, Bill Belichick is like, no, nah, I'll go with this guy who could be a backup to fucking the guy working on fucking uh, the supermarket yep. over Cam Newton. That's so. true. Yeah, he will. Yeah, that's how it could be. All right. Well, yeah, what, what's your prediction? Who has a better record? Who has a better record, Tom Brady on the Bucks or Bill Belichick with his new team? I hope Bill Belichick does. <laughs> Ooh, I don't see that happening. I think there are way too many, way too many uh, uh, well, class, targeted class. In, in Tampa Bay. There's a reason why I want Belichick. Yeah, but his arm to... strength is going away, man. Like... Yeah, but then, with yeah, you have, uh, what is the name of their tight end? I forgot Tampa Bay's tight end. Mike but, uh, Evans. Mike no, Elstott? yeah, Mike Evans, who's a wide receiver there. You got Gronk. Uh, Gronk now. Yeah, Gronk's their tight end. I forgot who the other one is. Again, yeah, class, the reason I'd rather Belichick have a better season is because I'm a Falcons fan. <laughs> that makes really sense. prefer that not sense. Tampa sucking yeah, ears. Don't want anyone in your division. To, uh, no, no. God forbid if it's the Patriots. Or not the Patriots, the Saints. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. At least yeah, Carolina should be sense. horrible. Yeah, you don't want any. Who that? Who that? Who that? <laughs> I'm, pl- I'm working on a. Uh, you know they're going to like. Do what? They're going to hurt Drew Brees, right? <laughs> oh, man. He's going to have a bounty on his Who's fucking, that? on his birthmarked face, oh. man. He is. LeBron James put the bounty out on fucking Drew Brees. <laughs> yeah. I'm, wor- I'm working on getting, because you know they made that Funko Pop of uh, bag Baghead uh, Spider-Man. <laughs> and so I'm going to get a uh, Saints Funko Pop. Because back in the day, they were so embarrassed about how they play, they used to wear sacks mm-hmm. over their head. So I'm going to make a uh, Saints fan. Funko, shut the hell up. <laughs> Whatever. It's anyway, so that'll bring the show to a close. Cause the, cat's, the cat is <laughs> pissed off about something in the world. All right. So for Clis- Clint Laugh. Fuck it. Just end the show. No, for... Uh, Destroy <laughs> you, <laughs> So for <laughs> so for uh, Chris Class all the way over there in Indiana, and Joshua all the way on the East Coast. This is Doc Martins, and have a fracking good week. Are we supposed to look at you now, Joshua, with your hat and everything else? There we go. Look at his hair. That's what we talk about. All right. Bye, guys.